You know what I'm saying? We know how long it's been since we've been out. Mm -hmm. But for that, our mixtape is as relevant as the time people been waiting on us to come back. And with all that ass, and it's jamming. You need to say we, ass and We is jamming. In your motherfucking fade now. In New York, y'all motherfucking told it bitch. Nigga, y'all go, yeah, yeah y'all got this shit this down. Shit, and we gonna finish this bitch. Ass in session. It's too much of that around the Yin Yang Twins in order for us to get the respect and the notoriety that we truly deserve. Right. No, but I was in just saying. Every time we pop up, I don't want to see a bitch shaking her ass. We know to be good for that. Okay, cool. Get to some more shit. Six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, of writing is a gift to gab that was given to you from the graces of God. You know what I'm saying? So if you was writing and you you was having fun spitting lyrics before you got money for it, that mean it was free of charge. The world didn't give it to you. The world can't take it. So if it was fun just to write words that you know would make people move, then what's so hard about representing? And the yin yang twin, where did that come from? Cause who the yin and who the yang? Cause y'all seem both turned up the same kind of way. Yeah, yeah, but D Rock is more so of the happy person. Okay. I'm like Scrooge McDuck, bar humbug. If D Rock don't like you, I'm on some fuck you. Right. But don't get it twisted. If you push my button, that's your ass. I don't like you no more. Word. And I tell you. On the professional tip of making music, people love us. Mm. But on some personal shit, you're going to love D-Rock quicker than you're going to like me. Mm. And I don't care. Mm. Because what people love us for on a whole, on a worldwide status, is the music we make. So as long as we don't let you down on the music end, you're going to love me too. Right, 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 right. Music make people happy. So, you know, as long as the music playing, they happy. When the music stops, that's it. The ills of the business. What could you do without in the business and whatnot? Because you know what I'm saying? I could do with all the, without all the fake fuckery, half-ass industry talking motherfuckers that talk to you when you show up in their city and fucking with them. And then when you're gone out of their city, they don't care that you left. They glad that you left, especially if you have more motherfucking enthusiasm and a charisma than they have. I love my fans. My fans, the fans want Yin Yang to keep making proper great music, and that's what we're gonna do. So as long as I do that, I don't feel like I'm gonna ever let any fan down. All right, now this is what I don't like. <laughs> yep, this is what I don't like. Now, it's not hard to see it. If I see a man, you know, walking with two, three kids, and I know he's a celebrity, I feel like I would leave him alone. That's family time. Now, I heard Jay Z say this the other day, and he was like, "One thing about being a celebrity, the same thing you just said, you can't turn it off." Right. Yeah. He say the same thing. You day. can't turn it off. But all, the only time you can turn it off is when you're in your house. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's your only it. privacy. And I, when you leave the house, you're not your government no more. You that artist that you made you. Right, right, right. And but I feel like you know if I if you see me with my five boys, if they really they like you, and one of them doing this, and and you come over there, I I I, I don't mean to bother you, but can I get an autograph? I see you with your family. I right, if you see I'm with my family, leave me the fuck alone. Right. You don't feel that way when you out with your kids. It doesn't bother me really. He people ain't he, he ain't got as many. People as me. don't. But see, look, people <laughs> he don't ain't got as many. People as don't me. walk up to me as much as they walk up to D Rock. They he say ain't got as they me say as I have a look on my face like I don't want to be fucked with. You do got that. You I, look around approachable. I'm gonna tell you but something. But you one of the coolest niggas I, I ever learned, met. I learned some shit from Michael Jackson. Guess what? What he said. I'm not finna be a motherfucking slave because the people around love what I do. I'm mm. not about to be a slave. That's what killed Michael Jackson. He became a slave to the essence of what he became. I don't want to be to a point where I can't go out and enjoy myself in life. Mm. Real talk. Because mm. you only as good as your last hit.
Right. So this is why I'm not finna put myself out there like that. All right, I'm gonna tell you like this right here. Man, me and my family out at Six Flags, I ain't signing no autograph. If the Yin Yang Twins' life was a movie, what would it be called? Twerk Alicious. Yeah, what he said. I understand, because I would go back to the early Yin Yang and get them that. When we first started off and crunked the, um, the strip club up, oh, we crunked that bitch down. Word, word, word. <laughs> okay, now with that being said, who is Kane and D-Rock? Kane is an arrogant bastard. I don't care what the fuck you're talking about because you don't know me personally. You know me professionally for the music I make. So if you don't know Eric, I don't give a fuck if you like Kane. Eric is the person I still am. Mm. And I got more love than people will ever give me credit for in the industry. Mm. So I ain't worried about that. Mm. They pay me to talk that shit. That's why I talk it so hard. Mm. I don't care if you don't like me personally. Mm. Because you love me for my, for my professionalism. Mm. So I don't care if you don't like your personal pain. Mm. Pain is, isn't even a real person. Eric Jackson is mm. a real person. Pain is the perception of what the Yin Yang Twins represent. I'm D'Angelo D-Rock Home. D'Angelo. Yeah. D, D, uh, you look like a D'Angelo too. But you want to know one thing? Okay. I hate when a person call me D'Angelo. <laughs> Is that's that why I made up D-Rock. Nah, he ain't the motherfucker on the video naked <laughs> with his shirt off and whatnot. Yeah, be like with D'Angelo. his oblique showing and like, shit. Uh, uh, with this uh, part showing. Uh, you never that's know. That's why we at this hit 50. Dot com. And that's in your motherfucking mouth. Now, hey, when I was talking, I, I was interviewing Mr. College Park. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, we talked about, you know what I'm saying, you having the limp and you having the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the hand, right? Yeah. Now, he was telling us, that y'all never had a problem with talking about it, but they made y'all dumb that down. We never really wanted to talk about it. Like TVT asked us, could they promote our disabilities? We told them, we don't want no motherfucking pity for it. Mm. We don't want you to say, oh, I never knew they were like that. And then let that be the drive to you buying our records. Mm. So for that note, fuck the disability, that shit doesn't count. Mm. Still charged up. Mm. Um, and one thing about it with me is, you know, going through school, you know, trying to defend yourself because of a disability, you learn how to join. Like, and, and we good at joining. Yeah, Y'all are great so the, at so, so to calm the joining down, right. it's like, all right then, let me just put this thing on around here. Mm. Because we were trying to do something and establish something. And... I didn't want to put it out there because I know I right, it, it would have been just like school, right. all over again. Cause you know, we don't want no pity party. You, you, we want to prove you, you that we deserve what we deserve, cause we work hard for people it. People don't give a shit because they know. That's the double down why we on motherfucking flam and why we are who we am. Bottom line, right there. I don't give a damn. You can call me the handyman. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold motherfucking says so. Who want they candy ass whoop? I think RVD would have kicked out of that. Oh, I'll take up the stuff. <laughs> the boy don't want no trouble. Bottom line, bottom line. So when all shit coming out, man? As soon as you get back down there to hang and redo your goddamn verse. Well, that is. What you told me yesterday. Yeah, I'm going to go redo the verse and yeah, shit. you're going to redo here. I'm going to redo it and everything. I got some new shit for that. And whatnot, we're going to drop it. We're going to put it on Thriller the reality show. Manila. Jack Thriller in Manila, hard dick, going to kill her. Put it up in her pussy, make sure the bitch fill her. Man, and, 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 and that's what that's what he just saw me up in a nutshell right there, man. Hey, with that being said. No homo. Is there anything y'all want to tell this is 50 before we get up out here? Yeah. Shout out to Pity, for that my nigga. Only one that did represent us for, ah! And you can hit me up on Instagram at Atlanta Four. You can hit me up on Twitter at the Yin Yang Twin. You can hit me up on Facebook, Yin Yang Twin. And all I gotta say is, yeah, what my motherfucking brother said. And the other Instagram is the real Yin Yang Twin. Hey, man, next time you're going to see us together, it's going to be on TV, man. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real. It's something you got to be Kane and D-Rock, Yin Yang Twins. We open, we out of here. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss the moles in the mouth. Unless you got to. Boom. Three, six,